uh, one of the last videos that I put out within this album had shown a couple of images from various sites to finish the video, uh, sites that I've been thinking about looking at. I said that at the end of the video, one of them was this here, this site that we're going to look at throughout this entire video only. There's a few different areas, uh, you know, that begin with cave, the silky cave, the spicker, all this. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It won't be like that. But anyway, I've shown this in previous videos where I've been trying to match it up side by side to modern day construction methods, right? Almost like it ran down the center of a skyscraper, but yet it's side on, but I didn't really know what it looked like outside. So I'm going to show you a lot of images from outside and running all the way through this thing. I have got some modern day examples. I've not spent too long to find something exact. I spent long enough just to give you an idea, right, of how this may have been put together in the past. Obviously, from what I see, it must have been a pre-flood structure that's gone under the ocean, completely covered in silt. I don't know. But when you look at this thing, even the side walls, they will line up perfectly, right, from side to side. Not only that, but you see the green tinge that's running all through it. Now, I always feel that that's something to do with high mineral content in something like copper or iron, uh, bronze, uh, something like that. And over time, it's just mineralizing out of the rock. Almost like 90% of the metal has actually gone, but because it went under the ocean, oh, through some volcanic event, but definitely must have gone through water. The rest of it has just almost formed a perfect imprint shell of what it and how it was built. The technique that they used, yeah, maybe. But this green tinge that's running through all this is very suspicious to me. It's not just moss build up from it being inside, deep inside a cave, a mountain. All right, well, it's now a cave. And it's just a buildup of moss. It's not that, I can tell you. Obviously, there are areas that's got foliage growing on it. But when you see this thing from outside, now I don't know if this is the exact same area, right? But it looks very similar to me. The first thing that I notice is that for those people that think that this would have been carved as dwellings, well, there's just no way that you would come to an area like this with so much above you, so much weight, rock above you, and carve out thin walls like that, running through into the rock by 20, 30, 40 feet, and expect thin walls like that to hold the entire weight up above you. So clearly that's just ridiculous thinking, utter nonsense. To me, it's turned into what we're seeing today. In fact, it's been revealed because if you look at the front there that I'm pointing out, you can see that there was a lot more of it, but it's all crumbled away. Likely the ground that we're looking at there isn't really the ground. That's just all solidification from the entire front of it falling away. All right. So the rest of it, you can take in what I've said there and I will show you a number of images and play some music over it. It's an interesting sight, is this one.